Space is beautiful, hostile, and ever-changing. If we could watch time and fast forward, the formation of a solar system must be one of the most breathtaking events in the universe. And in this game, you get to witness and control just that. This is Planetarium, which was designed by Stéphane Vachon and published by GameSalute, who helped sponsor this video. Hi everybody, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph, and we are here with BoardGameGeek.com. Well, I see some matter swirling around a star, so let's get this game down to the table to go in focus on Planetarium. Planetarium is a resource management planetary formation game where players will collect matter by moving it around the board and play cards to affect the evolution of the planets. Players will start with five evolution cards. The low and high evolutions are played throughout the game and the final evolution cards are played in the final round and will be for end game scoring. On their turn, the player will move one token on the board and then play a card if they are able. When moving a token, the player must choose to move either a planet or a matter token. Tokens must always move in a clockwise direction and may move along the thick orbital lines or the lighter lines that connect them. Matter tokens can move one space, though they may not move through each other or share the same space, though planets may share the same space as matter tokens. When this happens, the player will place the matter token that collided with the planet on their player mat on the matching planet space. Planets have slightly different movement in that they can sweep out their orbit, which means they can move along the orbital lines as far as they want or until they collide with a matter token. Okay, so we're zipping planets and matter around the star and making them smack into each other. But something must be happening when those planets and matter collide. Something does indeed happen, and that is planetary evolution. Matter on a player's planet mat allows them to play evolution cards. Players may play cards to the four planets. Each card has requirements for it to be played, and these requirements must be present on the player's planet mat where the card is being played to. Requirements could be certain matter tokens, the planet being either terrestrial or gaseous and in a particular orbit, or the planet needing to be habitable or hostile. When the card is played, the matter tokens used will be placed on the evolution track, and then the card will be placed in a row along the side of the board next to the planet. The player then places one of their player markers on the card to signify that they caused that particular bit of planetary evolution, and then they will score points in the top right corner. Once the card has been played, the player will then draw either one low evolution card, one high evolution, or two final evolution cards, keeping one and discarding the other. As more cards are played, more matter will be added to the evolution track, and when it hits the double arrow space, evolution accelerates, and now matter tokens may be moved two spaces instead of one. And once the evolution track is completely full, the final turn begins. Now final evolution cards may be played. Players will need to meet the requirements and play them to specific planets just as they do for other cards. But they will need to have already played a card to that planet to play a final evolution card there. They will take one of their player markers from a card on that same planet and place it on the final evolution card. And once all players have finished their final turn, the player with the most points will win. This game is one big circular puzzle where you're just trying to figure out where to move planets and where to move matter. You're constantly moving them around, moving them to different orbits, trying to get the right ones to collide with each other so that you can put the cards into play on the right planets and eventually set up your final evolution cards. It's one big thinky puzzle that has a satisfying ending because you get to look at your solar system and see how all your planets evolved. And if you want to tackle this big thinky puzzle, make sure to check out Planetarium's page on BoardGameGeek.com and join the discussion. Until next time, I've been Nick Murphy. We're here with Board Game Geek and we've been going in focus on Planetarium. Have a great day.